Hey, and welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a brand new tennis product from Go Sports. It's a tennis racket bag, but it has a lot of unique features. So let's check it out. Hey everybody, my name is Ashley Neves and I run this YouTube channel and Instagram account, The Tennis Mentor, creating content for tennis players, tennis parents and tennis coaches to get more out of the sport. Recently, during lockdown, I've started to create a few product reviews from trainers to teaching aids and today I'm going to be reviewing a brand new premium tennis bag that's just hit the market. Now I'm quite excited to be taking a look at this bag. I had an email a couple of weeks ago from Chris Pago, who is the founder of Go Sport, and he asked me whether I wanted to review one of his products. Straight away I said yes. I've seen his product online, I've seen it on Instagram, on, on a few ads and I really like the look of it. So I'm very lucky that he's decided to gift me one for the purpose of reviewing. I will say I haven't been paid to make this review nor have I been asked to say anything in particular. So everything I say in this video will be my own unbiased opinions. So before we take a look at the bag I'll give you a little bit of background information on how the brand was created. On the back of the email I actually got chatting with Chris because I was intrigued as to how the brand got started. Now Chris was an avid tennis player as a junior he played to a very high standard and in his teens he ended up burning out fast forward 20 years Chris was keen to get back into the sport that he loved but when he did he realized that tennis rackets tennis shoes tennis clothing had all come on leaps and bounds with new technologies however when he looked at buying a new racket bag he couldn't find anything on the market that was really transformational so he decided to make his own now in his 20 year gap from tennis, Chris actually worked for an outdoor and hiking company and he was designing bags and equipment for the outdoor market. So that really inspired him to see what he could do when it came to tennis bags, which I'm sure you'll see when we take a look at the bag where some of the inspiration has come from. So let's check it out. Here it is. Now, when I first saw this bag, I think it was on Instagram a few months ago, the first thing that struck me was the way that it looked. It just looked so cool. It's minimal, it's sleek, it hasn't got massive branding all over, which is something that I'm not a big fan of. It's got one high quality logo on the front. I mean, this is cool in itself. And it's just got subtle detailing all the way around the bag. Nothing too leery. And the shape of it is pretty cool as well. When it sits on your back, it looks different to any other tennis bag. So I really like that. This bag right now is completely empty and you can see that it's holding its shape perfectly. Most tennis bags that I've had before have kind of just molded around the shape of your equipment and not really had much structure to them. Whereas this, you can see straight away, I mean, this is the padding on the side where you put the rackets in, it's pretty solid and well built. And when you actually pick it up and start feeling the different materials, you can see that it's high quality. Obviously where this has been made by somebody who's been experienced in the outdoor industry and hiking and that sort of thing, the quality of the materials is super important. So you can see here, it's got this non-tear material as the main material all the way around the bag, but things like the handle, I mean, this is thicker than any other handle that I've seen on a tennis bag, and you can tell that it's just gonna last years and years. And the padding on the back is gonna be super comfortable for you when you're walking onto court. It's got two solid straps, it's comfortable to wear. And one other unique thing about it is most tennis bags tend to lay down flat like this. I like the fact that you have the option on this one to stand it up in this position. And you'll see why that is useful in a minute when we get into this pocket here. But yeah, initial look, it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the look of it, whether you like its design. For me, it's the sort of bag that I would look at and think it's pretty cool. Okay, let's get into the pockets then. So the first pocket is probably the most important is for your racket. So we've got one pocket on this side, which holds two adult size tennis rackets. It's padded on this side and on this side as well. So good protection for your equipment. And we've got the same on the other side as well. So all in all, this holds four adult size rackets. However, there is an option to hold more and I'll show you how in a second. Alongside this pocket here, we've got a smaller pocket next to it. This is a good pocket for things like your phone, your keys, your wallet, anything you want to access quickly. It's just nice and easy to open here. And you can see straight away with these zippers, they are top quality. I think they're made by YKK, which is the leading zipper company. Um, but there's nothing worse than a zipper that catches all the time. This is just perfectly smooth and it's even got the branding on there too. It's pretty cool, it's like a gunmetal matte effect. I like it. Then we go down to another pocket here. This one's a flat pocket. This one will be good for things like notepads, anything flat and thin you can put in here as well. 
you can feel the padding from where the rackets go there. And then we've got a similar pocket on the other side, but on this side, it's actually got a very soft kind of micro cloth material, which I guess is for tech items like phone, iPad. If you've got a pair of glasses, you can put them in there as well. And um, it's actually got tiny little pockets within that pocket so that you can organize your stuff in there as well. Then we've got this pocket on the top, which if I open here, you'll see that it's well ventilated. So it's got a nice mesh on the top. This is gonna be ideal for things like uh, sweaty clothing or uh, a pair of trainers or even a drinks bottle because it's fully waterproof. So I'll pull it out. This material is completely waterproof. So it's gonna protect everything underneath it from getting wet if you put something wet in there. And it's quite deep as well. If I push it down, it gets down to about here. But because it's a material, if you have other things in here, it can be adjustable as well. And finally, the big main front door of the bag. Now, I love this pocket and you'll see why when you open it up. It's got its own shelving unit. Now, they're a bit wonky at the moment because I've just been playing around with them, but these are fully adjustable shelves. So you can take them out. They're in there quite strong. It's a strong Velcro, but these shelves allow you to customize your bag to, for it to suit your needs. You can make the compartments as big or as small as you like. And just by simply placing it in, I say simply, I'll put it the wrong way around. We've got the Velcro on the back as well. The Velcro is so sticky that it's quite hard getting it to the back, but once it's in, it's there for, for good. There we go, you just use the Velcro to stick to the sides. It's kind of good that it's hard to put in because you know that once it's in there, it's not gonna, it's not gonna come out. But there we go. So yeah, what I would put in here is probably some clothing on one level. I might put a towel on the next one. I might put some warm up equipment. I like to use Dyna bands, resistance bands, skipping ropes, that sort of thing. But you can organize it however you like. And if you want to take the shelves out completely, you've got space for probably another eight or 10 rackets in there. Um, but yeah, for me personally, I probably wouldn't take more than four rackets out to a match or out to training. So I would really make use of this big pocket in the middle for all of my other bits and pieces. It might be for my coaching aids. Um, you can use it for whatever you like. But yeah, I really like the fact that it's customizable and I think this is unique to any other tennis bag out there. So a really good element to this bag. So there you go, that is my quick review of the bag. I actually can't wait to get on court with it. We're in the UK here, we're still in lockdown. So I've been very lucky to be sent this product so I can have a proper look at it and I'm gonna have a proper play around with it um, before I get back on court. But my initial thoughts are it looks great, it feels great, you can tell it's gonna last for years. It is at the pricier end of the market when it comes to tennis bags, but in my opinion, you get what you pay for and this really is a premium product. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more product reviews or some of my other videos where it comes to coaching and tutorials, consider subscribing to the channel and I hope to see you next time. Take care.